Hello everyone. Welcome back to another very interesting, very interactive lesson of uh, teaching partner. So today I'm going to share you a platform where you can create a very interactive lesson. And uh, this lesson is will make the teachers completely free and make uh, the student central system like it will create a student central class for sure. You can add uh, different activities in that. It is really amazing. This platform name is Nearport. So let us register for that. So we need to just click on here. As usual, I will share the link in the description. So you have to register as a teacher first. So I'm going to uh, register myself. I'm going to sign up with Google. Let me go sign up with my account. Okay. So once I entered user ID password, I will register. I need to make a sign up. So I need to set, select a subject. So my subject, let's say it's science. You can uh, choose any subject other even it's fine. But I have chosen it grades. I'm taking, let's say uh, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to take a lesson role is let's say teacher and done. So this is my first registration. This is really, really amazing platform I'm going to share with you. So let us show how to create a lesson in that and how can you use how can we can utilize Nearport library because some lessons are already prepared. Let me try to search a lesson about waves. Just I'm searching a lesson about waves it's from science. You can filter it from science and high school or whatever your requirement is. Let me see which lesson I'm going to choose for the waves. Let me try this one. Okay, so let us preview the lesson. First of all, it is a ready made lesson from the library of Nearpod. In the first slide, you can see the teacher's material and preparation is already given. So you can choose the second slide. How does energy move? This is a, a brainstorming question. Then there is a learning objective and today's lesson and it's go on. You can see there are 34 slides, including activities like think, pink, share and open-ended questions and so on so i am going to add this in my lesson add to my lesson this will add the same slide or this ready-made resource in my lesson yes it's already added and you have this is my first lesson they have congratulate me now i'm going to edit this lesson maybe i need to change it so i can add it as lesson according to my requirement according to my students and according to my content so you can see there are a lot of uh, uh, slides are in front of me so I can change anything I can delete I can add you can see I can duplicate I can change the question this whole lesson is editable this is a ready-made lesson if you like the lesson completely you can assign it or you can uh, make a minor or major changes according to your requirements let me exit from here and let us see how to create our lesson and what are the options available now I'm going to create a new lesson for new lesson. I'm going to click here, create a lesson. Let me give a name. Let's say it is this class is about chemistry. So like write down my chemistry lesson. Let's say I've just gave the name chemistry. Now I'm going to click here, add content and activities. These are the options available to create. So I will quickly review with you. How can you add them? These are the contents and these are the activities. Okay, for example, the content, you can add video, you can add any web content, you can add um, PHET simulations and so on. It's like when you say web content, it means anything from internet, you can add it. So let me go for web content and let me uh, add something from there, uh, from the internet. I'm going to add, just randomly add. You can write or copy any URL for this. So in my first slide, it's like a website I have added. Now I'm going to add some activities. So I'm going to click on activity and I can give them open ended question. Very easy. Simply you can just put an uh, open ended. When you assign the open ended question, you or you can add timer. Also, let's say you want to allocate one minute for them. So you can click over there and add. So this question time is one minute for the student. So here you can write down any question did you know something about chemistry let's say you can write any any kind of question and then you can add image audio or any other media including pdf viewer video audio you can add the question 
so uh, this is what you can do and just simply save it so now the second slide is also added and let me make another last slide uh, you can make a lot of slides in that i just want to give you an examples how to work on it let me give them an opportunity to draw something so i'm giving a draw it to my students i just clicked on it and i can say so they can take screenshots and upload they can upload ready-made pictures from internet resource so you can okay so i'm going to write down let's say upload your all evidence here i can add timer again uh, as before so i'm going to save it now i have a lesson ready which three slides right now but you can add more if you want so let us see how it look like so now i'm going to preview that okay so my preview is ready you can see this is a lesson link i uploaded with them so they can click here and they can open the web page this preview is a student preview how student look like the lesson so they can read go through with this web page and according to your given open ended question they have to answer the question whatever you ask for and similarly in the last they have to upload their evidences so we are come out from the students preview now you can see the chemistry lesson is ready now how to assign this lesson to students so there are two ways of uh, doing this lesson one is called live participation for example if you, are, if you are in a live class you are taking an online class or hybrid class you can assign them same time in this participation you need to control them and uh, the students are supposed to uh, follow the instructions and the computer screen is controlled by yourself so for example you can do it so once you click on this you can see there is a code which is showing here near port lesson so you can share this code to the students by so many means or just copy paste or orally or just writing on the classroom or somewhere you need to inform the students to join so they can join this lesson with the help of this code so you can see the code is now appearing here so they can utilize and they can use it now another way of doing this lesson is uh, the student paste this is what you can assign them for a period of time let's say one hour two hour one day it depends on you can assign them and they can do uh, with their own handling they can control their own slides there are a lot of more tools in nearpod you can explore them when you will start using nearpod so let me show you how to check the student progress how students are performing this lesson and how can we check that so how can we check the students report or session report so there is an option of check reports here session reports you can see i'm going to give an example there are some random names how much they participated and uh, how much they have finished the task it's already here so this is how you can check the progress you can even download the progress with pdf or csv format so thank you very much for your time and uh, listening i hope you enjoyed the lesson believe me nearboard is a very good uh, platform thank you very much